to Unicorn Dust Designs. My name is Sammy, and if you're new to this channel, hello. Uh, we usually do DIYs with signs, and I mean, there's laughter no matter what video it is, but today we're changing it up. I did a Dollar Tree haul, and I haven't done one of these in a very long time. I actually used to have a separate channel because I hauled so much. Um, and then, you know, I realized how compulsive I was getting those blackout moments when you come to your car and then you realize how much stuff you got was coming way too frequently. So I was like, okay, we got to cut it back just a little bit. And then I started watching hauls again. And then I was like, I need to go. So here we are. Uh, make sure you're cozy. Make sure you have a drink, a snack get get your notepad or your phone so you so you can write your list because my hauls are long i love to talk uh so let's get started sorry everything's in the bag so if you hear crunching i'm sorry i am pregnant i am winded the less work i have to do <laughs> the better right now okay so i'm just gonna be grabbing out of bags so i'm gonna start with uh these I guess all right so in the craft what's this yeah in the crafter square section I found this amazing bag of paint brushes and I get I think all of these right here that I use in my videos these are from Dollar Tree they came in a pack of this one and I believe it was like this one once upon a time and I saw this pack and you get seven pieces. So it says you get one, uh, one inch chip brush, one inch foam brush, shader 10 round three wash one golden. Okay, don't know what any of those are. So we'll just go ahead and open this up because I'm going to use them anyways. And this is not a Dollar Tree brand. This is Low, Low Cornell, um, and they even have a website. So this is Simply Art. I think, isn't this a Walmart brand? Comment down below. I'm almost positive it's a Walmart brand. So you get this chip brush. Now this chip brush is not as chippy as, okay, there that one goes like these it is a lot softer but i think it'll do its job i will stick that right in there you got your synthetic brushes detailed got two of those and then you got your sponge so for a dollar to get seven brushes i think that's a really good steal um i also you guys finally found and this is proof you just never know when your dollar tree is going to get items because sorry my camera, I don't edit either when I do my hauls. So hello for the mess. I finally found some of the uh, vinyl tools. So I found the weeding tool, which I thought was amazing. They had different colors in the tops right here. I'm actually gonna open this up. I wanna see how sharp it is. Cause my favorite is my Cricut weeding tool for sure. It is so sharp. Mm, that one's pretty sharp. Sorry, I'm playing with it in my lap, but there's, it's pretty dang sharp. I mean, there's my Cricut one, so I can show you guys. Ow, see the Cricut one's like super sharp. I mean, yes, the Cricut one is a little bit more intense, but for a dollar, We'll see how this works. So I finally found that and then I found the vinyl. So I've seen the vinyl before. All right, sorry, had to grab a towel because we all know when I do my makeup, only one nostril runs. Anyways, I've seen the vinyl before at Dollar Tree. However, I don't usually pick it up. I still haven't even tried it, but there is something about this print and I was like, mm, I kind of need that. And my Dollar Tree, I live in Kansas and I went to the one off of Santa Fe and Merlin, I think, in Olathe. And they had an entire, I mean, they had every color imaginable. They had an entire in cap 
And then their entire bottom shelf of um, this section was filled with all colors of vinyl. So I picked this up and keep in mind, you guys, I've heard this isn't the best quality. I've heard that you need to cut it on washi tape setting because it's so thin, but you don't have to just use it for like lettering and you know, like actual vinyl stuff. I saw Brenda from Monarch's Market uh, this week and all she did was cut, you know, circles out and she applied it to the tops of her mason jar lids to add just a little, you know, prettiness to it. And I thought that was such a great idea. So don't think you just have to use it in your vinyl cutting machine or if you don't have one, you can use this stuff for so many other creations, you know, like maybe sticking it on like one of the wood bunnies from Dollar Tree this year and then just cutting the excess off. Something as simple as that. So I got these two. Like I said, I talk a lot. I'm already winded. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I finally found the laser wood cutouts. And like I said, you guys, you just never know when this stuff is coming because I grabbed an extra weeding tool. Uh, I have seen these in so many hauls for so long now, and I've never seen them in my store. I think I have, yeah, I have more. But I did see they had, these are more uh, summer types. So this one has an octopus, dolphin, and seashell. And they come with two of each design. Then we have the whale, the penguin, and another dolphin. And then the turtle, seahorse, and seashell. So I grabbed these because I thought, I mean, for summer and stuff, it'd be nice to put away in case I want to use them. These are also super pretty if you want to make your own like greeting cards and things like that. Um, you could even tie them um, with twine for presents as a little embellishment. So there's a lot of different things. You could probably even make keychains out of these, you guys. I say that, but like I, I've never even opened them to see how thick they are. So let's do that real quick. Oh, they're, oh. yeah, they're just like an MDF. So I went to go bend this and I could easily bend the leg back. So maybe not a keychain, okay? And I also finally found the words. However, the words that they had were things that I was like, I don't see myself. There was like trust, amazing, um, inspire, things like that, that I was like, I don't really see myself using those in my crafts or anything. Um, so I only picked up the family one. You guys would be proud of me. I, I usually I would have grabbed like every single one of these just because I finally found them. And I'm trying not to be compulsive. I say that, but I blacked out in the sticker section. So <laughs> we'll see that right now. Okay. What else do we got here? I grabbed some more Spanish moss. What I have not seen, and let me know if you guys have seen it at your Dollar Tree. I have not seen them have reindeer moss in a very long time. And remember the reindeer moss is the green version, but it's like the, the real, like it feels like wet and damp versus the fake stuff. Yeah, haven't seen that. Um, let's see, again, sorry if I'm I'm clamoring through my, are these the only ones I got? I think so. I finally found the clear stamps that I've heard people um, hauling and I got this version right here. And they also had more summery kind of kiddish ones. This was the only one that I'm like, mm, maybe I would use this. And if I didn't, I really would use it as well. I've also seen people, besides just using these as stamps, I'm trying to think, I think it was um, Kat. I recently collabed with Kat and she used the bird ones and she actually painted over it and then hot glued it to a DIY project. So that's another way you can use these if you don't think you're gonna use them as stamps. So found this one, grabbed it, thought maybe I'll use it. Uh, okay, you guys, be prepared. One, 
If you watched my last hauls, I've mentioned, and I think everybody experiences this one time or another, you have blackout moments in Dollar Tree. You know, like you start looking at something and then you're checking out and you're pulling things out of the cart and you're like, did I put that in there? Was that me? Are you sure? And then you start questioning, do I need all of this? And you're like, well, you put it in your car. Like, and you don't want to be that person that's like, no, you can put that back. So then it's like, you have to buy it, right? So um, this was one of my blackout moments where I was like, one, you don't use stickers ever, ever. Can any of you name a time I've used stickers except for like the dots or the crystals in my DIY videos? Because I can't. But... This is what happened. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the pile here. This will take up half our video. Okay. I don't know what came over me. I told myself I was going to use these. Okay. So again, a lot of these I've seen in pre in other people's uh, hauls a while back and mine just suddenly got them. So don't lose hope. So I found these. And they're like, what, puffy, puffy stickers, I guess you can say. It says tile border gems. So they have the keys and the locks. Now, the colors aren't usually my vibe, but I was thinking I could easily paint over these and make them look antiqued if I wanted to, or, you know, whatever. So I thought I could probably use these, especially with like shabby chic DIYs. And then I, and I was good. I only grabbed one of each. I did not get crazy. I also grabbed these as aren't those stunning? I mean, they don't even look like stickers. It's crazy. And this is something easy where, you know, if, if you don't necessarily like the stone color, like I see myself painting over them with white, distressing them. So all of the details pop out, things like that. Keep that in mind when you're looking at them and they might not be your color. Basically, I'm just telling you like buy it. Okay, then I got these puffy stickers, which again, have not seen in any of my stores locally. This, this one I was almost compelled to like buy a lot of just because they're so well done. Like, aren't those beautiful? So I got those, let's see what other puffy ones. Uh, these, now that I'm actually looking at it, I should have got another one of these too. So again, more puffy stickers. These are just plain gold. And I love, see like the birds, there's a bird flying. There's another bird on like a perch. Um, and these, again, if gold isn't your thing, they're very easy to just put on a DIY and paint over them. So these are really cute. See, this was me blacking out. Like, I didn't even know all the stuff that was in this one. <laughs> but there's that one. Found the, okay, let's see. Are these different or did I buy the same? I bought the same. Uh, these are, I guess they're, I don't want to say they're puffy, but they have texture to them. And I bought them because I felt like there was things you can do with like the borders, these edges. I mean, even these you could do stuff with if you're into like the shabby chic or even rustic decor. Uh, like these would look really cute on some jars with some twine around them. And then you could put like, you know, stuffs in there, like maybe bath salts. <laughs> put some bath salts in there and put good times. Yep. Okay. So I got two of those. I'm all over here and my like wheels are turning like, hmm, what would we put this on? Okay. And then these are more 3D stickers that I thought for spring, again, the color stuff, their colors are not really things that I use in my decor. I might use them as is, and I'm sure a lot of you would, but my thought behind these is painting over them. So there was this beautiful sunflower one, so much detail. Uh, what are these? Roses, maybe? Roses. And again, you guys, they don't have to just be for like 
I don't know, sticky on paper. You can wrap a gift in some like brown uh, shipping paper, put those on there with like beautiful like pink and red ribbon. Things like that are like other ways you can use them. I say that, but like I seriously have a stash of stickers I've never touched, so don't listen to me. And then these are, I don't know what kind of flowers. You let me know down in the comments, but these are really pretty and like super classy. These would make for some beautiful cards. But again, my thought process was painting over them, distressing them, and then, you know, making them fit with whatever decor I'm using. And then I found, and then, okay. And then did you guys say, and no, and then, um, I found these, so they're the same thing. They came in two colors and I just bought both of the colors because I really liked this color, but then I thought the silver would be easier to like paint over and not have anything show through. So I grabbed these. And again, these are like puffy stickers. They are gonna be so great for detailing. And yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with these. All right, then I found these stickers, which I, who did I see lately? I wanna say, making it with Jamie. I'll find like I'll link Brenda's that I mentioned down below. And then I believe it's making it with Jamie. And I think she made like a little sign from Dollar Tree out of these. I see them used more so for cards for some reason or scrapbooking, but she made like a little sign and I thought it was the cutest. So they came out with more of these and look at how detailed these are and these are something too if you guys are into like junk journaling and stuff like that I'm sure these would look absolutely gorgeous in there now keep in mind like the background doesn't come out in the sticker so the sticker is going to be the window pane the bike and then yeah the bird on the the bench thingy a jigger you could also probably frame these too and I found this one and look at the detail inside the window. There's like, um, there's like a picture of lavender. There are even candle sticks with candles on them. Some tray with like what looks like maybe apples or something. I mean, it is just so very detailed. It blows my mind. And then lastly, this one, and in this one's um, window, it almost looks like you're looking into somebody's like vintage office. Do you see that? You could see like the lamp in there and the accessories sitting on the desk. So, so pretty. Okay, last, <laughs> last, I finally found the iron-on transfers never seen them in my store. I grabbed them because I figured, you know what, they'd be fun to um, play with Everly, like on tote bags, you know, things like that. Maybe like an old shirt she has. So I found this one that says sparkle and shine with the sloth. So cute. Did I say rub on transfers? They're iron on. Keep looking up. There may be a rainbow waiting for you. And then they have full instructions on the back. But first coffee, and this could be cute on like a tea towel or something. Or if you put it on a, like a little tote bag for like a friend and then put like a coffee, a coffee cup, a coffee, coffee grounds, a coffee cup and stuff, you know. And lastly, this one, Adventure Awaits. And I got two of these because they were just totally cute. So I, if you guys have tried these, let me know down in comments and let me know what your thoughts were. I'm really interested. I just thought that they would be fun. Like even if, you know, Everly just uses them or something. All right. In the, okay. So that was all crafter square section. Now in the frame aisle with like the framed graphics and then they have canvases. The, I've seen on C Panda, she um, she hauled a bunch of like their new prints that come in the frames. I couldn't find any of those, but I did find two new canvases. 
And this is why I don't need to shop anymore. I have a whole thing of these canvases, these prints down in my shelf because I'm always like, I'm going to do something with them. You just watch. I will one day. That's why I haven't been going and hauling stuff because I'm like, get through your stash. Okay. But anyways, you guys don't care about, you guys don't care about my problems. That was Hank. Live life in full bloom. Look how gorgeous that is. Like that looks like something that you would get at Hobby Lobby. Am I right or am I right? And even if you wanted to, um, oh, I was gonna say this isn't, it's MDF, it's not wood. But you can still take this off, paint the MDF and then do a reverse canvas on here and it would take it up just a notch, you know? So I found that one and of course I found an animal. I found another horse print. I don't know what it is about like the horses and the cow prints, but I always feel compelled to buy them. And I don't even put them up in my house, but I will do something with them. So I found those two and I thought they were so gorgeous. And I mean, how perfect for spring is that one? So I picked those up. All I think about is like, you have to put all this away after this haul. Okay. And they came out with these little signs like, hello, crafting. I mean, they're cute as it as is, but like crafting, I thought would be amazing. So there are these little signs. I only grabbed the happiness is homemade. There was another saying, not sure if there's more, but this is happiness is homemade. And it has like a faux, like wood background. And then it has the hole for you to hang it. And I was like, these are so smooth. They don't have any glitter on them. Don't know what that is, MDF. The finished good is compliant. Okay, I don't know. But I'm sure you could get the paper off, but I really think these would be super easy to paint over or if you have scrapbook paper. I just thought that they were like the perfect little size and easy to work with when you're DIYing. Even if you made like a box out of these. I only grabbed two. See, that was me trying not to be compulsive, but now I'm like, man, I should have bought more. You can make a lot of stuff out of that. Okay, was that all I got out of that section? Oh, I got, I found a new wall creations. This one says, our family's gathering place. Sit long, talk much, laugh often. I thought this would be really cute for like an outdoor patio sign. Right, 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 right. So I found that one. They had some other really cute, like boho looking ones and stuff that were really, really well done. All right, moving on. I found some new notepads. I found this cutie bit. So first I found this one and it had the little calendar. It had the lines and it has the magnet on the back. So I was thinking about this one for my fridge. Right now I have a Dollar Tree one, but it looks more like this with it. And I use it all the time to do my grocery list or like if we're out of something, it's easy cause it's right there on the fridge and I'll just like write it as we you know go through it so i thought you know this one might be too small usually i use the whole sheet of paper so then i found the jot well both of them are jot but this one says there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy 60 sheets and this one's also magnetic i just liked it because there was more room to write so i got two because you never know maybe i'll change my mind um next I found this book for my best friend in California. Uh, she is having her first baby in March. And let me see, this is called The Joy of Mom, Celebrating a Mother's Love. I believe it's by Vicki Reese, I guess. And let's see, let's see if I can find a price on here. But I just, I had noticed this and I was like, how cute would this be? It was originally $12.99. And 
and it's just like a little book of quotes. I will nurture, protect, guide, and love you more deeply than you could ever imagine from your first heartbeat till my very last. Um, Mom, thank you for always being there for me, not just when I needed you, but for when I needed you most. So there's just little, you know, things. And I thought that it would be super cute for her to like read through if she's having a tough day or, you know, something like that. So there's that. All right. What's next, you guys? Let me take a drink of water. Because there's still like three more bags. E. All right. They had one small end cap of their Easter stuff. I am on the hunt for the wood cutouts. Haven't found them yet, but I'm sure I will. But I did find the big carrots. So last year I was able to find the little tiny ones that come, is it six to a pack or five to a pack? You guys let me know. So I was so excited when I saw these big ones because I did not see these last year. So I picked up like five packs of them. I didn't take them all, I promise you. I picked up five because I knew for sure I would use these and I could easily take them out of like decor around the house and reuse them the following year. So I grabbed some of those. What else did I find? Now, I got these because I was thinking about DIYing over them, like painting them or something like that. I didn't realize, I saw somebody post on their Instagram that they actually have just white ones of these. So, yeah, but I'm sure we could find something to do. See, I got two because I had something in mind. Um, but now that I know that they have the white ones, I'm like, I want that. Oh, and just to let you know, these are $1.25. My store just changed this week. So, oh, yeah, more of these. I got more floral foam. I like these because they're in, like, the little sections. More of those. Okay, and then I grabbed these from the Valentine's Day section. Only because I was, like, I mean, two tags in one for a dollar is a good deal to me. And, of course, we'll DIY these. I don't intend on keeping them this way. So I grabbed just one thing from the Valentine's Day section. Let's see, Easter. Randomness at checkout, they always have these clips. These clips are so strong. We use them all the time to like close up chip bags, you know, cereal bags, things like that. You could probably even use these like if you can't find, oh, these are actually way stronger than these little clips from Dollar Tree. You could probably use these as well. Yeah, those aren't as strong as these. These are like heavy duty, uh, but they always seem to go missing. So I'm sure like my kids just throw them away when they like toss something. So I always grab a bag of these when I go into the store. Okay, found some florals cause I, you know, need more of them. <laughs> no, no, I don't. But I thought this yellow was a really well done yellow. I don't think it, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like Beauty and the Beast yellow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Beauty and the Beast yellow is a great way to describe this. Her dress, that's this yellow. I thought they were very well done and that I would use them for spring. I grabbed this because, I mean, it looks like an Easter egg. <laughs> So why not, right? Okay, let me see. Okay, you guys, this stuff is like, I can't believe it found. Well, a lot of the stuff, like the stickers and stuff, I was pretty impressed with, but like this name brand stuff, I was like, holy moly guacamole. Holy guacamole. Let me get these out of the bag. So I've seen these hauled on other people's channels and I was like, oh, there's no way like I'm gonna find these at my store. Well, I found them plus some. So they are the Tom's soaps. I was blown away when I saw these on a Dollar Tree haul and I was like, there's no way I'm ever gonna find these. And in my store on the end cap, there they were 
waiting for me. They have, you guys, five different scents. So it doesn't say that they're antibacterial or anything. So that might be a concern for some people. Um, yeah, it doesn't say that. So this one is apple, fresh apple. Moisturizing hand soap helps support good bacteria to keep skin in healthy balance. I have not smelled it. Oh my gosh, that legit smells like a apple Jolly Rancher. Are you gonna screw back on? Great. You guys, okay, there we go. So there is that one. I think all of them are the same as, they're just moisturizing hand soaps. Yeah, all of them are the same. There's just different scents. So this one's blood orange. Let's smell that one. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. These smell. <laughs> I'm like having the toughest time just getting these off and on. Okay. All right, we'll have to work on that one. I just need to remember that. Okay, maybe I should not open the rest of them. There is peppermint, gentle lavender, and then soft rose. So I picked up every scent because one, once summer hits and the kids are outside playing and stuff, it is great to have soap when, you know, they're pumping it and it gets everywhere and half of it's wasted. Um, so I thought that would be great. And then also I thought of like teacher's gifts and stuff. Like how cute would it be to put, you know, for their classrooms? Like I know when Everly was in preschool, the preschool classroom had a bathroom like attached to it. So I thought, you know, it would make a for a cute little like addition to a teacher's gift or something to put in their classroom or the school, whatever. Um, so I thought those were amazing finds for one dollar. And Tom's is not an inexpensive brand either. Then I found, which I need to look this up. It's called NBD Plants Power Really Clean, 85% plant-based formula made with recycled plastic, yuzu and orange flower scent. And you guys, this smells, this is going in mama's bathroom, okay? Cause this stuff, oh my gosh, it just smells so clean. That's the only way I could just like, it just smells so clean and refreshing. It's a foaming hand soap. This definitely is not, it's a P&G product, actually. Yup. It says no compromises, just clean. Yeah. So I'm super excited. I got two of these because they smell so good. And they were in the same section as the Toms. They were just kind of like tucked under the very bottom. When you all go to Dollar Tree, you seriously have to look in every nook and cranny when you are there because things are hiding, y'all. All right. I grab these every time I go. They are absolutely amazing. The last ones I got, I have to toss because I didn't notice at the time, but the this, the plastic part, was up top. All of these were down below, which it's not supposed to. What happens is the moisture goes through those beads, comes down here, and when all of the beads dissolve, that's when you know to toss it. So yeah, but I love putting these in the laundry room. We put them underneath the sink in the kitchen in our bathroom, and they, they are amazing. All right, you guys. <sighs> we're winding down. I told you mine are long. When I go to Dollar Tree, I go to Dollar Tree, okay? Okay, let's see what I found. Oh, I found, let's see. Cause I had this out cause I actually used it. So I found this new, it's hydrating lip gloss with hyaluronic acid and it's by B Color. 
So I have one upstairs that I already tried and they seriously do not have any color in them at all. So this one is garnets. I'll even open it up. The other one was like a peachy color and I put it on and it was absolutely clear. There was no color to it at all. It did feel hydrating while it was on my lips, but I almost felt like it dried my lips out after. Oh, see, this one actually has color. So it has like a pink tint to it. I'll try them out again. I just felt like after it wore off, I felt like my lips were so dry afterwards. So there's that one. They don't smell like anything. Uh, whew, I'm running out of breath, you guys, sorry. All right, found this cocoa butter formula, cocoa butter and biotin length retention two-step hair mask. And I was like, yes, please. I love this brand. I love hair masks and they're so easy to use. So I just got one package of it for a dollar. I mean, maybe it's not such a good deal, but I mean, I think it is for the brand. So I grabbed that. I'll put this back in the bag because I got to bring it all upstairs. I found some Maybelline products and I did not <clears throat> go crazy. I was so proud of myself. So they are Maybelline New York. What are these? Vivid Hot Lip Liqueur. New shades. This one is in Sassy. And obviously your girl ain't afraid to wear some color. And then I will swatch that for you too. And then this one, this one is Unreal. And I was like, ooh, I wonder if this is going to be a beautiful nude shade. And let me see. Liquor Shine and Opaque Color, Melon to the Lips, Remove some Pepper Moons. High Impact Glossy Finish, Full Coverage. Full Coverage Loss Doesn't Feather or Migrate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll see about that. I feel like all liquid lipsticks feather. And by feather, that means like go into the cracks of like your lips. If you're all young and watching, you don't know what that's about. Oh, goodness. What the heck? Look at that. The dough on there. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. It actually smells like a chocolate cupcake. So there's that. That um, For me, I don't know. I would have wanted it lighter than that. This is definitely like a fall winter color, I would say. I don't know. I think it depends though. Because a lot of people like this kind of color. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I'll have to try it with some makeup on. And then here is... I already know I'm gonna like this one. Ooh, yep, uh-huh. And these are very glossy. There's no way that these would not feather. Look at that, look at how glossy they are. Yep, I'm gonna like that for sure. So I found those, I should probably wipe this off because knowing me, I'm just gonna wipe it all over my pants. And they wipe off like gloss. So I don't think they're going to be long lasting lip color, but who knows? Okay. The rest is, oh no, I found one NYX. So they actually had a lot of NYX um, items, but they were really like blue, purple, just like weird colors. This is a butter lip balm. I'm all about lip balms. And if I didn't use it, Everly would use it. Poor girl always gets such dry lips. So, oh, sorry. What color was that? Parfait is what this is. And let me see. Are you guys, if you guys are still here, I like how I yelled that. Like, for you guys in the back. If you guys are still here, comment down below with some lip emojis. That way I know you're on the makeup part here okay 
I, it it kind of smells, but not not a lot. Oh, that's nice. See, I'm down for the little the tints of color. Yeah, it has a sweet smell to it. It's not strong. And I like that, like, especially during summer, if you're like, you know, going to the pool or just like out running around and you don't want a full face of makeup, put on some tinted moisturizer, mascara, some um, linted, tinted balm. And I feel like I'm more put together with, I always feel more put together if I have a lip on. I don't know why. Okay. Then we got the Ioni. I finally saw the Ioni. Well, I haven't been to a Dollar Tree in forever, but I saw the new stand that they have. Let me see. What else do I have in here? Oh, there was another. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. Keep this bag because I got to bring this all upstairs. Oh, you guys, I told you this was long. Okay. So Ioni. So I think, so this is actually the, the packaging. Everybody says it kind of looks, what, what brand is this? Is this Louis Vuitton? I don't know. I'm not a high end shopper. I think, no, I don't know shows what I know. But uh, I bought this be to craft with. <laughs> and then I thought I would be able to show you guys. Um, but this is a mask application brush. They do work if you like face masks and putting them on. But I just bought it because I haven't been able to find these. And you can see mine is pretty tore up. So they're great to use for um with hot glue because the uh, spatula part is silicone so you can see so I just grabbed it for crafting reasons so we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna toss this one and I also found in that so there they had the entire line at mine but there was their eye brushes weren't I didn't think would really work for me they had like an eyelash curler they had tons of different sponges which I got this one and these look nice they had the plain sponge that just looks like the teardrop they had this one which is the slanted tip and then they had some other slanted tip sponge but I use a sponge I only do tinted moisturizer and then I do my concealer with a brush and then I put my translucent setting powder on with a sponge. So I am really excited to try this. They look really nice, really nice. So I grabbed that one and I've seen, I think it's, who is she? Uh, she, Sarah Jane, you know? She said she used it and it worked just as good as her other like name brand sponges. So then there was a whole end cap of Ioni stuff too, but it wasn't the same line as this, you know, print that they came out with. It was, so maybe these are older, I don't know. Like I know earlier, like last year, they came out with this line, but this is Dramatic Black Mascara. And I'm all about the dramatic lash. And I figured, you know what, if their eyelashes are as good as they are, maybe the mascara will be too. Let's check out the wand. Woo, baby. Oh, that's a, oh, let's see. I don't know, I might like that. I will let you get, I don't know why I sniffed that, but it didn't smell very good. But I will let you guys know that looks like a really nice wand. And that is the Ioni Dramatic Black Mascara Instant Volume and Thickness Long Lasting. And then on the top it says Vanilla Bean. Maybe that's like the style. I don't know. So we'll throw that box away. Then I found these Fat Lips Chubby Stick Creamy Matte Finish. Again, this is me hoping like it would be like a pretty nude. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, come on now. So it just looks like that. Is this supposed to be like an actual? 
It says it's nude lipstick meets liner. Get ready for the greatest multitasking fat lips chubby stick. It glides effortlessly and delivers a creamy matte finish. So you line your lips with it and you essentially fill in your lips with it. Mm. I'd have to try it on my lips. It is very matte. More like a peachy nude. This might actually work very well to line your lips with with this liquid um, liqueur or whatever from Maybelline. So that's that color. It does, it, it the stick is creamy though. And then I found liquid lipstick in the shade, I guess, Cotton Candy. That's what that one looks like. I mean, for a dollar, I don't mind trying this stuff out. Like, if I don't like it, thank goodness I have a daughter that I could just be like, here you go, play makeup. All right, so let's see. I've never tried any of the Ioni, like, makeup products. And I don't do lashes. Ooh, I like this color a lot. And it is super creamy. Let me, what is this one? Long Lasting Formula. Oh, I guess the color is pink. It just says pink. Long lasting formula, matte finish, ultra comfortable wear. And that's that one right there. I really like that color a lot. That's definitely my vibe. So hopefully it wears well. I line all, like anytime I put on a lipstick or something, I always line my lips with a lip pencil. Okay, and then I randomly found this one like underneath, like it fell through the shelving and I could not find any more of them. And I love, love, love liquid eyeliner. And this is the CoverGirl Twinkle Town Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. And I was, oh my gosh, I was hoping there was more. I looked and I looked, like I scanned up and down all around and could not find any more of these. I was so, ooh, looks like it needs to be shaken up. So I'm like, who knows? This could be like super old. Oh, I already know. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I buy more of these? It has like, okay, you're probably not going to see it. So that's how glittery it is. But it has these iridescent like purple flakes in it. Oh my God. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. Like, uh, if they would have had this in gold and oh my gosh, if you guys see these at your store, let me know. So I know there's more out there, or maybe this was something that was old and i just randomly found it in the shelving. And then lastly, you guys, I grabbed one of these combs. Uh, Everly has curly hair. She gets it from her daddy. And I was asking on my Facebook the other day, like how I can tame her curls because we brush it and it's absolutely beautiful. Like if I, if she took a shower and spent the day and they air dried, they come out stunning. But if we take a shower at night, brush it, and then she wakes up, it's like they, they're not defined anymore and they're frizzy and it looks more like a little wave instead of her curls. So uh, a lot of people said to like put the product in, brush it with like a big tooth comb. So I got that for her to see how that would work. But uh, yeah, you guys, we're finally done. Like I said, I do some long hauls <laughs> um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it showed you, you know, whoa, whoa, that one, that Ioni one, that is definitely a mat. It ain't going nowhere. Um, oh. Look, I got this, this mat. We're going to use it in an upcoming DIY, I think. But I saw this. It was plain. And you guys, I use these as dog mats for the um, water dishes because they have this like almost rubber plastic backing. So the water doesn't go through the, um, the carpet. And then like once they get like super like wet and things like that. And then if they start stinking, it's nice because they're a dollar. So I just toss it out and then I replace it. So I always get these for the dog 
water. So, but we're going to be using this for a craft. So I got that. All right, you guys, that is, oh, look. Okay, I found these. This is really the last one. A three pack of Peds Ladies Ultra Low Cut Socks. A three pack for a dollar. Isn't that crazy? All right, you guys, I'll let you go. For those of you that want to see the baby bump, you'll find out next week what the baby is. Oh, look at, look at you. Look, you see my maternity band and everything. But there is baby M. We are 21 weeks right now. Whew. And doing good. The baby is super, super active. And uh, yeah, I will be telling you guys, uh, not next week, sorry, this video is coming out. No, yeah, next week. So next Tuesday or Saturday, I will be sharing uh, the gender with you all. So make sure to stick around for that. Tuesday's video is going to be Kirkland's Easter Spring Dupes. So you guys, thank you for spending your time with me. I always appreciate it. I hope I showed you some great finds and I hope I reminded you that you just never know when your Dollar Tree is going to get stuff. So with that said, have an amazing day and I will see you back here soon.